speaking and welcome to this video. Right the Terrain Square Circle competition starts on March the 1st, uh, so just a couple of days off. Um, so this is going to be an introduction to my project, um, or at least my potential project ideas, uh, just to show you what I'm going to build along with you guys. Now if you're interested in joining in this terrain making competition, um, there is a video with all of the details on, uh, which I will put in a link in the description below for you guys to go and check that out, it's got all the information that you need. Um, but yes, uh, basically you do have six weeks to make a piece of terrain starting place on a circular board or at least a board with no straight lines or corner pieces. There's going to be two prizes on offer. There's going to be a £60 prize for the winner, which would be from myself. And uh, second place will get a £40 voucher from um, Inside Out Terrain, who are our sponsors this year. So thank you, Inside Out Terrain. It's really, really awesome of you. I'll put a link to Inside Out Terrain's Facebook page in the description. Please, please go and check that out. Give his page a like. Show him some support for um, helping us out and giving us some awesome prizes. Not only that, there's some fantastic inspirational pieces on that Facebook page as well. So go and check that out. Okay, so... Um, I've been thinking about pieces of terrain for quite some time because um, I always enjoy making terrain and the whole idea of this competition is to get you guys enjoying making terrain um, and last year we had quite a number of people um, enter the competition making their first ever pieces of terrain um, I'm really enjoying it so that is really really awesome to see so um, yeah I have been collecting some bits and pieces um, as such uh, which I'm going to show you now um, give you some ideas of some stuff that I've been collecting up and what potentially I'm going to use to make my piece of terrain. So the first thing that I've been collecting, <laughs> when well I've had these for probably about two years, is some cardboard tubes. Now I know that Necron terrain generally is like squarer shaped um, rather than circular, but I was still thinking that if I had these three tubes, now the camera is probably going to not go wide enough no but if you can imagine I had these three tubes together like standing up and then imagine some Necron glyph like coming down here uh, glyph glyph <laughs> I always do this uh, Necron glyph coming down here um, painted like metal cutter with uh, like gold glyph glyph <laughs> here we go again glyph 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 <laughs> Um, yeah, if you can imagine that there, I thought that would be pretty cool to have something like that. Um, so like I said, I've had this for a couple of years, these tubes, not knowing what to do. But that's, that was my idea with those tubes. Um, and running alongside that, I've been also collecting these. Now these are the insides of till rolls. Um, I've got some tall ones and some short ones. Now I used these, I think I used the tall ones, yeah, for my Tyrannocyte conversions with the little stand and a green stuff, the tentacles down. And I've been collecting these thinking that I'll probably end up um, converting up some mucolids using the same technique, like a board on the top and then tentacles coming down. So that's why I've been collecting these. Um, but as I'm going to have those tubes like standing up in the upright position, I was thinking maybe I could like run that with some smaller versions as well. I mean, I said these come in varying sizes, and I can have the piece of train almost like um, like a walk through, maybe something like that. Um, and I've also got these here which is a pack of laser cut card necron crystals now i'll put a link to laser cut cards channel um well yeah his channel but more importantly his website um in the description below i was going to check that out but i was thinking that these might look pretty cool inside the tubes now these are a bit small to go into the top of these here so on the top of here um i was thinking about potentially using this which I have now this is a Necron defense line from laser cut card now this is a prototype one this is like his um, experimental version 
Um, so it is different to the one that he's got now. He basically has more detailed, intricate patterns on than the current ones. So it's a bit trickier to build. Um, but I was thinking maybe I could use like the top sections. Um, oh, I can describe it now, but the piece that goes at the top that arcs round, maybe using them on the top of the tubes, possibly something like that. Um, so that was that idea. And then I've got something else, which again, I've had for about a year. Um, now call me a tramp, but I found this in a bin. Yeah, <laughs> I was by the bus stop and I just saw it in the bin and I got it because I thought that's cool. <laughs> um, I'll show you. I got these. Now these judging from the worn writing, seems to be a sweets, like bubblegum holder or something. I don't know, obviously you get sweets in there. But how cool do they look? Once I obviously filed them down flat, I thought they'd look like some sort of like power, oh, sorry about that, uh, power generator. So I was thinking maybe I could use them somehow. So, um, as you can see, I've got lots and lots of little bits and pieces. I've got no solid idea um, of what I'm actually going to do. Um, and I've had like uh, something thrown into the, the mud as such, into the mix. And that is the um, cyber terrain that I got from War Games, which I've recently built. Um, and now I've had some second thoughts on what I want to do with this piece of terrain. I'm thinking what I might do is make the terrain piece like an interchangeable terrain piece so that I could have um, a different piece of terrain almost every time I play so effectively I'll have like a different center piece and I can change the center piece around depending on what I'm going to play and then I'll have I was thinking maybe having like um, uh, like a stones on the, on the bottom so it'll be almost like I can only describe it like a Necron Stonehenge um, I think that's what I'm going to call this piece of terrain, uh, Necron Stonehenge. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to make it sort of interchangeable, I think. Uh, so I can have ho hopefully lots going on. Now whether all of these ideas that you see in front of you are going to come into fruition with my piece of terrain, I don't know. I'm going to wing it, I'm going to play it by ear. I'll start off doing the stones on the bottom um, and then sort of go from there. So that is my ideas, or that's my ideas. Um, I am looking forward to seeing what uh, you're going to come up with for your piece of terrain. Um, and like I said, building starts on March the 1st, so I look forward to uh, watching everyone's projects progress. That's it from me. Thanks for watching.